safer oil tanker puts risk on Yemen and the entire region. The following report has more details. As part of the UN-coordinated campaign to evacuate more than a million barrels of oil from a deteriorating tanker off Yemen's Red Sea coast, the United Nations Development Program signed an agreement with the tanker owner, Euronav Luxembourg, to buy a very big crude carrier. Before going to the FSO Safer, which is presently moored around 9 kilometers off Yemen's Ras Isa Peninsula, the new ship that will replace the FSO Safer is currently in dry dock for repairs and routine maintenance. It's expected that the arrival will be in early May 2023 for the operation. The VLCC has reportedly been sold for $55 million. The UNDP is contracting marine salvage company Smith to safely remove the oil and prepare the FSO safer for towing to a green salvage yard as part of the UN coordinated initiative. According to UNDP administrator, the UNDP's purchase of this suitable vessel marks the start of the operational phase of the UN coordinated plan to safely remove the oil from safer and avoid a massive environmental and humanitarian disaster. UNDP is collaborating with experts from UN agencies such as IMO, WFP, and UNEP, as well as international consultancies on maritime law, insurance, and environmental impact. For years, the FSO Safer has been the subject of heated debate, as the vessel poses a serious humanitarian and environmental disaster. Since 2015, and due to the conflict in Yemen, Safer oil tanker has not been maintained. It has deteriorated to the point where there is a real possibility that it could explode, which would be terrible for the area. As stated by UNDP, a major spill would devastate Yemen's Red Sea fishing communities, destroying 200,000 livelihoods in an instant. Toxins that are lethal to humans would be released into entire communities, and millions would be harmed by heavily polluted air. What makes things even worse is that a spill would also lead to the closing of ports like Hudaydah and Salif, which are considered really important to bring food, fuel, and life-saving supplies into Yemen, where 17 million people need food assistance.